Yo, what up, what up? It's Big Brandon Carter, BBC. Today I want to talk to y'all about ab training. Yeah. Six pack. How to get the six pack packing. Six pack. Obliques. How to get the six pack packing. A big mistake I see a lot of y'all making, you're doing high reps only for your abs. If you really want your abs to pop, you know what I'm saying? If you really want pronounced abdominal muscles, you know what I'm saying? If you really want them to pop, you gotta do exercises that you can only do low reps. And I'm saying low reps, I mean nothing above 12 or 14, man. Maybe even less, man. Maybe even eight to 10 reps. Pick exercises that you can't do more than eight to 10. When you do that, that's what's gonna make your abs kinda bigger. A lot of you are afraid of that, but it's nothing to be afraid of, man. It's nothing to be afraid of, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, some exercises are like dragonflies, and the dragonflies, they help, they, they focus more on your lower abs, but actually the whole, the whole abdominal region. And you wanna do weighted crunches, right? If I just did regular crunches, I could do, I would lose count before I, <laughs> before I got to failure. I grab a weight, man, his like a 50 pound kettlebell, and I'll do like some crunches with that, and I'll do crunches with that on my bench. If you like this bench, I'll put a link in the description where you can get it, you know, it's cool. But yeah, I do weighted crunches, you know? Then I'll do like, I'll, I'll hang, from my fucking pull-up bar into weighted side crunches. Like for the, that, that focuses on the obliques, the oblique muscles up in there, all that, all that action. I don't know if you can see it, but all that action up in there on the sides. A good routine would be to do all three of these exercises in the order I prescribe them. Rest between 60 and 90 seconds between each set and do four sets of each. it will be an awesome ab workout. That's what, that's basically what I've been doing recently. I've trained abs about every other day. And every other time I do low reps. And then the times I don't do low reps, I do high reps. For example, I might train abs Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, right? Let's just say that's what I did. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Monday, I would do, uh, I would train abs low rep. Rest on Tuesday, then train my abs again on Wednesday with high reps. Then I would rest on Thursday, and on Friday, I'll train with low reps and so on and so on and so on. I never train my abs every day. A lot of people say you can train abs every day. And yeah, you can shoot heroin too. You can do a lot of things. That doesn't mean it's going to be beneficial. I'm a firm believer in training abs no more than three or four times a week. Every other day, give it a day, give it, get your abs a, a full day to rest. And half the time training your abs with high reps, like just body weight, uh, I'll put a link to a good body weight workout in the description as well. Uh, half the time doing just body weight, with high reps, the other half doing low reps. The the high, the low reps give you the thickness and the size, all right, and the high and the strength, and the in the in the superior core strength. And the high reps give you the endurance and the rips <laughs> and the cuts. A lot of people can be, like, hey man, I did a five million crunches, but I don't have a six pack. That's because you're only doing high reps, so your abs aren't popping out. You know what I'm saying? The same reason, same thing. Like if you just did this all day. <laughs> with no, if you just did bicep curls with fucking no weight, <laughs> sure, you'd get tired after once after a while and you'd burn calories. Maybe your arm would get ripped up. You know, you have to do a million fucking reps, but they're not gonna get big. You're not gonna put on big size. They're not gonna pop out like you want to. So I hope that helps. Also, if you like the music that plays in the beginning and the end of my videos, uh, it's from my band, Something for the Pain. We got some shows coming up this summer. We already booked. You can download our music for free in the link in the description, all right? Peace. <laughs>